Hi guys, welcome to, to the channel, or welcome back to the channel, whichever. Uh, so, when this went in for its MOT, this car, uh, I had to take both the antennas off. Uh, it was a £600 MOT. <sighs> Catalytic converter had failed, I'd bought one, otherwise it would have cost me a little over two grand to have that fixed. Uh, no, I'm not paying that. So, 600 quid MOT, for a new catalytic converter to be put on, and a new, a new CV boot to be put on and a clip for that and asked one of them to do a coolant change as well so that did add to the price but yeah, needed doing so I thought I'd have it done while I'm in. So the antennas have been off but then I discovered something about the CB antenna and if you look over here you can see that the whip isn't in it <laughs> it's actually beside it the other antenna is perfectly fine so I've got the VNA it's upside down there so, I'm going to check it's all working properly and I'm going to put these back on the roof. I'm doing this on my phone because I don't have my normal camera. So, if it's a bit lower quality than normal, then that's why. So, let's see how far I get. Right, so in a car now, um, not sure if you can see the screen on the, on the VNA, because obviously things are reflecting off it including my breakfast wrappers from this morning because I've been out doing Uber Eats and I got breakfast at McDonald's. So, I only had to come back home because uh, there's a bit of a mishap and had to wash one of the bags. So, I'm not sure if you can see this at all. I'm going to try and zoom in on there. Well, this is with the CB antenna now on the roof of the car and it looks pretty flat across the board. Now, what I've done with the VNA is I've recalibrated it to take into account this adapter that's plugged into it because normally when I calibrate it I use the test standards that come with it and then I use that adapter so I'm not sure whether, it's take, whether it takes that into account or not it's focusing all over the place which is not ideal so that's pretty much everything up to 28 megs it's pretty flat across the board so I'd say that's usable even on the uh, even on the naughty frequencies, <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it at that. But I've just bear in mind that a I don't have my my two and seventy antenna up there right now, and I also am parked next to another car, and there's a fence on the other side, so that might be having some kind of impact. So, but otherwise, it looks good. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go put the two and seventy antenna back on. Um, not that the radio's got a power lead to it at the moment, but I'm still going to go put that on and I'm going to see what happens to this reading when I do that. Okay, so I've now screwed in the, the 2 and 70 antenna and it doesn't seem to be interacting too much with the, if any, with the, with the CB antenna, so that's actually all right. They are slightly offset to one another, but could still interact in some way, so got to be aware of that so now I've got this the next job to do is plug this into the Thunderpole T3000 and power it up for the first time since well since the back end of July so let's do that okay so now we've got the Thunderpole T3000 here let's switch her on and the antenna is definitely connected because it's picking up the same usual residual background noise that it picks up. Band's probably quiet, although I'm quite surprised considering it's a bank holiday Monday today. I've got the other squelch on, and you know, it is on the UK, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, there's usually a way to find that out. Well, there's somebody out there. <laughs> it's probably a lift or something. So it's working, it's okay. Back to UK. Try this, see if I get anything. Try again. One nine for a rig check. Well, 
One nine for the rig check. Yeah, wouldn't get anything, would I? Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Never get anything when I ask for a rig check. Well, rarely. <laughs> but it works. That's the main thing. I'm not sure about my um, uh, 2 meter and 77 setup because I was having some issues with the PTT switch for that, which I think I'm going to have to resolve. So I'm going to recalibrate that VNA and I'm going to have a look at what the other antenna is doing and if there's and if there's any common mode on it because uh, I have a sneaky suspicion there might be. Okay, so I've put the 270 antenna back on the roof. It's not particularly good. And I had a look at the adjustments on it. The bottom section of the antenna is pretty much seized. I can't move it. So let's have a look at 144 to 146, which is where the two meter band is in, in UK and Europe. So it is just say usable, but I'm suspecting there's some common mode going on. It's just resting in the instrument cluster of the car because it's the best place to rest it for me. So let's see if I can get a bit more of that in for you. So that's all the way up. So it's about 1.95 to 1. That's not really ideal for a radio that's capable of producing about 50 watts at full power, although I don't run it at full power. So I'm going to have to have a look into that, find out what's going on there. Like I said, the part of the adjustments on that antenna are in fact seized, so I can't really do anything with it. So I'm just going to pause and we'll have a look at uh, 70 SEMS. Right, so 70 SEMS is not really much better either. I'll just remove my finger from the top of the screen so you can actually see it. So, not much better at all. It's about one point, except, uh, except uh, about 432 to 434. Oh, it seems to be all right, but other than that, outside of that, it's not ideal because we do get up to about 440, I believe it is in this country. Might be wrong, but this will also encompass things like PMR446. So this antenna isn't usable there. Though this antenna should be all right uh, this far up anyway because... In the United States, 446 megs is actually part of the 70 centimeter band, so it should work fine there. Because obviously these antennas need to work everywhere, <laughs> because they're sold in every country in the world where amateur radio is actually permitted. So, yeah, I can't say that's good. So I'm going to have to look into what's uh, going on with the antenna. Although I can't see why this wouldn't really be usable here. So I'm just. So, because I would like to use everything I'm entitled to while I'm mobile. So I'll have to have a look at the antenna, find out what's going on, especially with the two meter side, because that ain't good if it's not working properly. So the antenna's now back on the car, CB's working fine, two and 70, I'm gonna have to do some digging. So just a quick rough and ready one, it's not nothing uh, special, because uh, I'm just waiting for one of my delivery bags to dry out and uh, so I can uh, get back on the road with my deliveries hopefully a little bit later on today. So 7-3 for now, catch you in the next one, hopefully it'll be a better video.